Hello friends, my name is Shilpa Kakkar. I am from M.B. Patel English Medium Secondary and Higher Secondary School. Today, I have come up with the Flamingo's first lesson, that is the last lesson of Standard 12. Let us see what the lesson consists of. Let me first introduce to the characters of the story. The first character is M. M. Hemel is a school teacher. He is a teacher of French language. He is a sincere teacher, a very passionate teacher who loved his language. He feels that a person's freedom of speech is very important and that is why he loved his language. He considers French the clearest, the most beautiful language and logical one. He is being proud of French. He was very upset by the occupation of Alsace by French, sorry, by, Fr by German. He was attached to the town, school and people of France. He was a hard taskmaster and very particular about discipline and learning. This is all we come to know when we go through the story. Students, when you will read, you will come to know that how, how much he loved discipline. When friends the another character of the story got late for his school. He was scared to enter the class of Mr. M. Hemel as he thought that if he'll be late, then the teacher will punish him. From all these things, we come to know about the characteristics of character. Students definitely scared him. Students definitely scared of him. And in all aspects, the people of Alsis respect him. He was very sensitive and honest man. He blames himself for selfishness. We come to know about it when we read the story. At the time, he says that he might have sent the students to home while they should be in school learning. He had sent the students for watering the plants for his personal works. And that is why this day he felt very bad. He said that if he wouldn't have done that work, then the students might have learned something well. But again, this shows the honesty of the character. He was very sensitive also. He became very emotional when he heard the Prussian soldiers. Another character in the story. Franz is a little boy who was very sensitive and honest. He is a playful child. He did not like to study. But when he realizes the importance of study, he blames himself for ignoring lessons. He loves outdoor, outdoors, sunshine, birds, butterflies, collecting birds' eggs, everything which a little curious child likes to do. But as a student, he repents. Repents for not learning the lessons which were taught to him during his school days by his teachers. 
he was a good observer and notices changes he saw that there was unusual atmosphere which was not there previously he empathizes with mr m hemel whom he did not like at all because he was quite strict discipline lover but when he realizes his mistake he empathizes with mr m hemel he understands his emotions and accepts him with faults let us see the story let's have a glance at a story the prose the last lesson written by alphonse dor he narrates about the year 1870 when the prussian forces under bismarck attacked and captured france the french districts of alsace and lorraine went into prussian hands and the new prussian rulers discontinued the teaching of french in the schools of these two districts the french teachers were asked to leave the story describes the last day of one such french m hemel mr m hemel had been transferred and could no longer remain in his old school still he gave his last lesson to his students with utmost devotion and sincerity as ever the story depicts the pathos of the whole situation about how people feel when they don't learn their own language and then losing an asset in m hemel one of his students franz who did who dreaded french classes and m hemel's iron rod came to the school that day thinking he would be punished as he had not learnt his lesson but on reaching school he found hemel dressed in sunday's clothes and all the old people of the village sitting there it was due to an order on the bulletin board it was the first day when he realized for the first time that how important french was for him but it was his last lesson in french so now students let us know the lesson this is the story of 1890 the year prussia conquered two states of france that is alsace and lorraine this is the story of before first world war prussia means germany germany and france they always had constant problem and they were always fighting with each other this time germany won and took away two districts of france alsace and lorraine this is a story of a boy called franz he was from elsas he was lazy boy but a sensitive one one day on his way to school actually he was late for the school he was unwilling to go to school and scared of his teacher also mr m hebel 
he was lazy and illiterate he did not like to study and that is why he was strolling towards his school while passing the town hall he sees maneuver of soldiers german soldiers and he also saw too many french citizens crowded in front of the bulletin board usually during those days all the bad news were posted on those on that bulletin board only people were reading standing over there and reading the latest orders from the prussians their enemies he knew there must be some bad news but he did not stand over there and it was school he knew that if he'll be late to the class then he'll be punished by his french teacher mr m hemel and moreover he was not prepared for the lesson also that day they were supposed to study participle but he was not prepared so in order to avoid the punishment he was rushing towards the school one of his friends said that you will not be late to your class do not rush he could not understand that but the orders on the bulletin board said that no french school will thereafter teach french all french teachers are hereby ordered to leave the country students should attend their schools and learn german as their language teachers are already appointed after halting for a while he runs off to his school and the school francis told of the new order and of the teachers leaving the school till that day he was not interested in french and even he hates his teacher but that day as he came to know that it was the last day of their french teacher who had devoted 40 years of his life he was full of grief and nostalgia he felt very bad that day and he as he sat in the class he felt that he has missed everything when he entered the class he saw that the village men had occupied the last benches of the classroom which were usually empty his teacher was standing and was wearing a new sunday clothes those clothes which he usually wear during some celebrations he saw that he was very sad he saw the grief on the face of his teacher his teacher even when saw him allowed him to enter the class and asked him very politely to sit he was even shocked to listen to that as he did not expect that from his teacher so 
as a mark of his respect to his hard work the village men also attended his last lesson they all were very sad they all were very sad because they realized that they had not learned french in childhood and now they will not be able to learn their own language france although he was never interested in learning for time for the first time he felt like blaming himself he saw that it was too late for him to learn as mr hemel was teaching he listened to him very attentively he listened to his teacher m hemel and he wondered that he understood every word every grammar every rule that was taught that day to him by mr m hemel he developed instant liking for teacher and respected him for his sincerity and hard work he was feeling very sad at the parting from him and is ashamed for for not being able to recite the lesson of participle the last class transformed him his life and aptitude m hemel tells them that they all are at fault not for being eager to learn not only that m hemel blames himself also for not being so sincere and strict with them even he accepts his own fault he confessed that at times he had sent his students to his home for his personal work for watering the garden he very honestly takes up the blame and said that he wouldn't have done this he believed that it is not only one person's fault but it is everybody's fault everybody is at fault for not being eager to learn the language sincerely he tells to guard language which helps to escape from prison of slavery he said that they were defeated because of their illiteracy france feels that it is not possible to take away one's language from a person as it is natural to each human being may it be coo of pigeon or a french from french man the last lesson the last class transformed him and aptitude he saw how important it is to be literate how essential it is to love one's mother tongue and how painful it is to be denied the right to learn one's mother tongue at last when the clock struck 
M. Hebel stood up and declared the end of the class. The last line which he wrote on board with big letters was Long live France. The dominant theme raised in this text is linguistic chauvinism. Chauvinism is a devotion for or against something. Just based on what you feel. So linguistic chauvinism is the idea that one's language is superior to that of others. This happens generally when the language is thought that of a ruling class. Linguistic chauvinism is the overt preference for one language over others. Language is considered to be the cultural identity of a particular group of people who use it. Hence, imposing some other language on the people hammers their emotions and is a step to annex their relationship with their culture. Language of any country is the pride of that country. It is not only defines the culture but also tells us about the people, literature and history of the country. Language for some people is just the medium of communication but for others it is the question of life and death. The last lesson is very prominently raises the question of linguistic and cultural hegemony of the colonial and imperial powers and their lust for controlling the world and influencing their cultures and identities. The last lesson raises the burning question very innocently through the words of little France that will they make them sing in German even the pigeons? This raises the question of immortality of imposing imperial languages and cultures on the colonies. The child questions that when even the birds and animals can't be forced to abandon their language and speak others, then what forces the man to think that it would be prudent force other human beings to forcibly accept any language other than theirs? The language of a country is not only a medium of communication for the people, but also the link for identity. Once the native language is snatched away from the people, it's not only the loss of convenient communicating medium, but also the loss of identity for the people, for what they have been and what they might become. When a small child like France can think of the irrationality behind snatching away the rights of language and identity from the people, then why can't the war lords and colonizers understand the fact? Students, hope the lesson and the story is clear to you now. Read the text you will understand in a better way. Thank you.